Hello, good evening ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to another segment of the Tales of High School Live Studio Discussion and I'm your host for the night, my name is Original Daniel. Um, before we move on, I'd like to say a Happy New Year to everybody, I believe you had a great year and you also believe that 2020 is going to be a great year. Um, Tales of High School just came from set just a while ago and trust me, you are in for quite a show, like there's so much coming in. So today's topic will be courtism in our schools, courtism. And we have our guest here, she's in person of Auntie Maria the Sensational. Um, it's been a while. So welcome, welcome Auntie Maria. Welcome. Thank you. Thank but you. before we move on, we'll be looking at a little recap of what we watched last week and we'll be right back. I just saw St. Jacob and that national service teacher called Miss Chucho or something. They were too close, and I don't like it. Now he is interested in <laughs> fair colored. <laughs> yes. I'm me. I caught her pungling her breast yesterday. I did not do, but it's more like she was pressing it. Hey, but don't you tell she's a lesbian? Hey, shut up. <laughs> don't say that. What was that for? You know what we're doing to that guy in the bathroom there. See, please. Good. You want to count up? You know, okay. Why did you disgrace me so? You disgrace me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is coming? Tell me so that I can run. Who is coming? You have to tell your dad about it. Hey, my father, I'm dead. See you. How can I tell my father I've joined the courts? You fool. Oh. I mean, she told your school father, <laughs> not your real dad. I've been told everything you've seen. It's normal, son. Look, there is one thing you're forgetting. That the court is supposed to make you do things that are impossible. It is supposed to make you bold. Do you hear me? I heard there's an awkward book in this school, though. Hmm? Awkward? awkward. Yes. In this school? Yes. Oh. I'm serious, Wang. I am serious. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm even scared. My name is Anne. One girl. Check me out. At your side, Anne. If you try that thing again, eh? I've seen this. I'll put my wife and swallow. Hey, Anne. Okay, welcome back. So, like I said earlier, we'll be discussing occultism, like occultism, in our schools today. And be sure that you can also join us in the conversation. Just um, WhatsApp our, our number at zero two four four. 856769. Six, nine. I'll take it again. 0244 856769. Six, so, Auntie Maria, welcome again. Uh, okay. You look you look amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're glowing. <laughs> Thank yeah. you the, so the new year looks very good on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, indeed, they say it's going to be a great year. Yeah, I believe so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so courtism in our schools today, in senior high school, like, what, what do you think about it? Hmm. Courtism in our schools. Sometimes it's shocking to hear that uh, high schools, I mean, students below 20 years of age are involving themselves in courtism. I don't really understand it. Sometimes I ask myself, is this how our world has spoiled? Has it gone so bad that a child that just barely came out from the womb has known about courtism, mm. how to practice evil? And sometimes I fear about the future. If at this age, these children can be in court, I wonder what will happen when they become men. <laughs> if, they, if they become, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So I pity the new generation, the, the, in fact, the incoming generation, I'm sorry for them. Because if a father is a courtist, maybe a mother, partial fourth courtist, then the child must definitely be a full one, <laughs> right from the womb. 
Uh, speaking of speaking of um, the new generation, we <laughs> have our audience here. Tales of High School. Watch and Tales of High School. Watch I'm a member of them that Tales of High School. Watch and learn. Amazing, amazing. I'll be taking um, input from you. The way you are smiling and laughing, I'm sure you have something <laughs> to say. Yeah, I'll be coming to you very soon. Aunt Maria, um, back again. You were talking about growing into um, courtism, that lifestyle. Like, I want to know. Why would someone join a cult in school? Why do you think someone would join a cult in school? Anyway, from uh, the experiences we had and the things we heard, and even the things we saw, some do it out of gaining power. They, they, they think cultism will give them power. They want to be powerful more than others. Some want to prove that they have become men. Even when they are, their panties are not tight right around their, their waist. <laughs> Even when they, they are not yet able to tie their shoelace. They feel they have become men. You see, power. You, you grow power. It's with time. Some feels for protection. But I'm telling you, the devil cannot protect you. The devil has nothing to offer. Some do it for protection, some for power, and some just let me do it because other people are doing it. And I'm telling you the truth. Some do it by force. Some are being forced into it. Wow. That is the worst part of it. That's Some serious. students are being forced into it. Hmm. They, are, they are being threatened by their fellow students and the court leaders. Because most of these courts you are seeing, some of them have their sponsors outside the school. Not only inside the school. Not just inside the school. But they have their sponsors, the big men outside, sponsors them. And sometimes when you are being threatened, you watch your family background, your father, pan one tapa, mama, tomato seller, what will you do? So forcefully enter into it. But I'm telling you, whether forcefully or not forcefully, your right is your right. You can protect your right if you know who you are. If you know the law, you can protect your, life, or your right. So um, I don't know. To be, to be frank, I will tell you the simple truth. If you watch it critically, there is no reason to join court in school. Hmm. No reason at all. No reason. Because all these reasons are fake. Wow. At the end, those who, pro who, pro who, 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 who promise you protection will end up the Or you go to jail. Wow. If you don't go to jail, your mentality grows with it. And you will never struggle with courts. So it end up in the, nothing but destruction. They will never protect you. <laughs> Speaking of our new generation in the courts, who better to answer our questions than our own audience? So I don't know. Do you have any courts here? <laughs> but I, w I want to know what will make you. You know, you just came out from school. You're in dummy generation. What will make you want to join a court in school? Maybe you've not done it. I'm not saying you've done it. But what would trigger you? What would motivate you to want to join a court in school? Anybody? Yeah, I'll take it from you. Uh, for instance, if I don't know anything, but yes, I'm blank, I don't know what's going on in the world, I'm nothing, I'm just hopeless, I'm in school roaming about in and out. Uh, they don't know what to do. When I'm given a work to do, I just feel. I'll feel like, okay, there is a cult ongoing, so let me join. Maybe the power I'll gain to help me improve in my, in my education. That, that, that is what will help me like, to grow. Yeah. So for improvement in education, any other? Yeah, I think um, the reason why some people join the occult is that, like, they are fierce. Hmm. And then, moreover, like, they have seniors who threaten them, like mom said. If you don't join it, you'll be do like, this and this will happen to you. So, like, they do it out of fear. Like, I don't know, like, they are so, like, their heart is fragile. So, like, anything, like, any small threat that comes on them, like, they feel like, okay, 
if this senior who is so powerful in the school is telling me to do this, then I have to do it. Otherwise, this and that will happen to me. So I think that's the reason why some people join the court because of fear. Wow. So to improve your grades in school, to do well, and because of fear, sometimes by force, what is your reason? Send us your inputs here on our WhatsApp line, 0244 856769, and I'll be sure to read them. 0244 856769. Okay, back to you, Aunt Maria. Um, we noticed that there were teachers. In fact, this occult in um, Tales of High School was actually spearheaded by a teacher. What do, you, and what, do you, what do you think about teachers being involved in courts in school? You see, it's still right from the Bible. Among the two of there must be a Judas. Hmm. <laughs> so I, I, in the film, I even thank God it's only one Judas that was leading others astray. You see, a teacher supposed to be a second parent to a child, a student. They're supposed to be a way maker. They're supposed to nurture them for the future. But in a situation whereby it's not a teacher who is not initiating them, who is not the leader of the court, sometimes when I think about it, about what the teachers are doing to the children, the students sent to them to nurture for the future, how they are molding them for destruction, I think it would be better Jesus should come fast. <laughs> He should come fast. Because that one, that because in this case, a teacher, a, your, your own teacher, we respect our teachers so much. Students obey their teachers so much. But when a teacher says, go this way, some students feel that's the right way until they go inside. Hmm. Until they go inside. It's too bad. It is too bad. Devil having their own agents right inside the school. Instead of producing children, students that will help the society tomorrow, they end up producing their own kind. And we'll keep on talking about the society. So I am also appealing to the government that they should, they should try to help us in this case. And also the students. Because if I that some students know that something like, like this is going on, they even know people who are involved. They even know teachers who are involved, but out of fear. Hmm. Out of fear. Who will say the truth? Hmm. Who will say the truth? Because sometimes even the truth, if you're not careful, the truth can cost you your life. So they keep quiet, which is not the right thing. It is better we we'll fight the evil on time. If you are going to face the consequences, face it for the future. Fight the truth on time. Students, my advice is that if you find that teachers who are involved in this, don't keep quiet. Because I'm telling you, if you don't join willingly, they will force you. Mm. If they don't force you, they will torment your life. Because they, they, they deceive them with power. Mm. They will torment your life. Don't hide them. Don't hide them. The Bible says you should resist the devil and he will flee from you. Anything you don't fight will fight you. So, teachers being involved in this is alarming. It's alarming. It is too bad. So we should try to find out a way of stopping this. If, if it means uh, this and the government officials uh, entering into schools to investigate, sometimes have secret discussions with students, I think it will help. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when they come out openly to ask questions to the students, they ask them uh, uh, publicly before others, nobody will talk. But if they can go into investigation, into secondary schools, into universities, even primary schools, even primary schools. I'm telling you, even KG is not safe. <laughs> I'm telling you, my son, before you go to school, I, I pray, sometimes I put anointing oil. I don't know what is going to happen. <laughs> so if they can have secret discussion with students, I'm, I'm sure they are going to find out so many secrets in schools wow. without mentioning anybody's name. Hmm. It will help. So my dear, it is so, I don't know. I don't know the, the right word to use. I don't know the right word to use. But let me say it is demonic. It is satanic. As for this one there, black angels putting on white garments. It's too bad. Wow. When devil is teaching you, I wonder what you will learn. 
I mean, when Lucifer is one holding the chalk, <laughs> what will happen? It means even the parents are not safe too. So it's, it's too dangerous. Hmm. It's, it's too bad. It's so intense here with black <laughs> angels and demons and oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, we are receiving um, input from our viewers at home, so I'll read a few of them. Here's one from Stan. He says, Hi, I'm really enjoying the show. Keep it up, guys. The resource person is spot on. Um, another one here comes from Pascal in Ho. He says, Cultism in our school is... It's, it's a canker. Okay. Cultism in our school is a canker, especially among SHS students, and, mo and must be kept. This is mostly initiated by peer pressure among students, and that's pressure from powerful ones on the weaker ones. Reasons why students join occultism. For fame, for power, authority, for influence, for fun. Hmm, for fun. Thank you very much, Pascal Newton from Volta Region. We're having some here from Kwame. It says, the only way students get influence to join cult is Bad, bad peer pressure when your parents are not able to provide all your needs. A student, school father, and teacher can influence them. And yeah, he says his name is Kwame Eugene. Kwame Eugene. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> Kwame Eugene is watching us. Okay. <laughs> wow. They're amazing, though. Tell us of high school. Watch and learn. Yeah. Kwame Eugene is watching us. <laughs> Okay, so we have a lot coming in. You can still send your input on 0244-856769. 0244-856769. Okay, so we are still moving on. Um, do you think courtism in our schools can be stopped? Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> it depends on the step we take. Because I'm telling you, a, a, a journey of 100 miles, I think I'm right, starts with a step. There is no evil that cannot be stopped. Because no matter how hard you try to hide the truth, it will always find its way out. And I have never heard that evil overcomes good, unless good is not ready to fight evil. It can be stopped. And who are the people that can stop it? The people who are involved in it. If you want to catch a thief, the easiest way to catch a robber is through the member of the gang. If you're able to get a member of a gang of robbery, I'm telling you, he will, he will reveal to you where all those things are. It's very easy. So there's no evil that cannot be stopped. If we don't compromise the truth, the truth will prevail. Hmm. Parents should arise. Parent teachers should also open their eyes. And the students should say no to evil. Knowing that whatever you do in this world, you pay for it. And any tree you plant in this world, if you don't finish the truth, your children will continue from you. It is never a good thing. That somebody will send a child to school. Go and learn. Come back and wipe away my tears. And you are coming to fill my, even my brain with more tears. Hmm. But even the tears are now raining upon me like, like, like a river. It's now becoming rainfall. It's too bad. <laughs> it's too bad. So it can be stopped. Uh. If we want to stop it, we will stop it. But sometimes people who feel they are fighting the, the, the evil are also in one way or the other involved in the evil. Like a teacher. If you don't know that this particular teacher is involved in courtism and you discuss among the teachers, we are going to find out what is happening. We are going to fight it. I'm telling you, he will know how to protect himself. He may even tell you, leave it to me, I'll fight it. Why nothing is going on? If we want to fight it, we'll fight it. And it must surely stop. But students are the first instruments we need to fight this evil. The students. No matter the pressure. If your, your, your school mother or your school father is in court and wants to involve you in it, please disown him. <laughs> <laughs> disown him or disown her. Because the day your teacher, your parents enrolled you in the school, he didn't enroll you with any school mother or school father. Hmm. And they are planning for your future. And somebody is ready to say you, you will not pass. 
I won't allow you to make it. And you will agree because of school mother and school father. Meaning what? It's foolishness. And even this issue of school mother and school father, teachers and the school authorities should know what to do about it. They should stop it. They should stop it. It's of no use. It's creating more harm than good. Hmm. It is creating more harm than good. Teachers should fix their eyes on the children, on the students, and forget about the seniors. Sometimes you give a child two, two biscuits to send to school, and the school parents will take one and a half. Hmm. And the child will be depending on half. You see your child growing lean, while the school teacher, the school mother and father, the stomach is becoming big. <laughs> it's too bad. And they end up pushing these children into evil, which is also very bad. So we can fight it. Wow. There are so many ways of fighting it. If people don't know how to fight it, give me the contract. <laughs> I will fight it. If I don't like it. Okay, so if your school mother or school father is asking you to join a court, what do you do? You disown them. Yeah, so let's put that in our mind. It's very simple. <laughs> okay, back to you, my audience. Um, what do you think can be done? Because it starts from us. Yeah. So what do you think can be done to stop autism in our schools okay um shout out to those watching at home First of all, I would like to define occultism. Occultism, I would say, is a theory and practice which involves in using supernatural um, factors or being. Now, um, how to keep occultism in high schools? I was reading something. There was a report that says that um, some students in Wesley High School were caught practicing occultism. And it all started when a stranger came to the school sought permission from the proprietor to sell a book for them. So the book was titled Ministry of Angels and How to Activate Them. Hmm. It was there when um, a student saw it and they reported to the proprietor and they got to know that occultism was being practiced in the school. So I would plead to proprietors of schools that they should be very careful of how they allow just anybody into the school to sell any book to the students. I myself am a witness. Way back in school, we'll be um, in class learning, and someone will come. Your headmaster says, we should sell this book to you. And it's not done. Even if the person comes, investigate the person. Make sure that what the person is bringing to the, 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 the student is of good use to them. So that's what I think about it. So these books were demonic books? Yeah, they were demonic books, actually. Wow. I, well, probably maybe the stranger went to tell the proprietor maybe I was going to sell a textbook which will help the students, but later on sold something else. So that book was the cause of the occultism in the school. And those students have been reprimanded for some time now. Hmm. I'm serious. A any other input? Any other input? How can occultism in our schools be stopped? At least now we know that. Just okay. don't practice it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple. Don't practice it. There is no profit in it, so don't practice it. I see somebody else wanting to talk over there. Okay, we are having some more um, input from our viewers. Wow, they are very, very interested. Um, there's one here from Limba. It says, students join occult on campus out of peer pressure and bad influence. Usually victims of this cult, um, members entice naive students for favor and through social platforms. Examples are class groupings, hostels, or dorm fraternities or campus club associations. Wow. Um, we have another one saying, um, I, was, I, was part, I was part of this evil group because of poverty. So I think we spoke about something like this. Um, I was part of this evil group because of poverty in the house, yes. And my school teacher introduced me in the evil group mm -hmm. for me to join. Hmm. I joined this group for about four years and I, I do really face problems at times. And I want to stop joining that evil group. My name is Kwame. Wow, I think he's still in the evil group. You need to address this. Auntie Maria, please, this, you are giving a contract. Take care. Anyway, thank you for the permission. Hmm. <laughs> Because sometimes I, 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 I like, you see, I prefer to fight the devil than fight human being. This particular human being is a student because of what you call poverty. And that poverty was the major reason why you were sent to school. 
to go and learn how to eradicate that property in the house and the family. And you went in to now build an altar of poverty. <laughs> <laughs> no, you now went to invite the demon of poverty into the family. No. If the student is still in, I will advise the student to take a bold step. First of all, let your parents know what you have entered into. Because sometimes we fear about what our parents will say. Like the, in the movie, the, the, a, 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 a boy, he was saying that if, if your father should get to know, if my father should know about this, he will kill me. Your father hasn't known yet, he hasn't killed you yet. Why not wait until you die? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sometimes as some secrets you keep from your parents, by the time it will grow, you will have problems. Let them know. If they will beat you, they should beat you. But they must find solution. Secondly, the school authority should know about this. But I'm telling you, because these occultic people use uh, some forces, some evil forces, I will advise this child to first of all, give his life to Christ and run to wherever they are going to pray for him to come out. But first of all, it is an issue of personal decision. Decide to say no to it. And I'm telling you, it is very easy to come out. Some people feel if you come out, you are dead the, the, the following day. It's not impossible. The enemy you allow to kill you is the one that you get the power to kill you. I'm telling you, students should put fear aside. Because that is the weapon that is against human beings. And because of your age, because of the age of the, of the, of the children, the, the enemy knows that their, their, their brain is still forming. Even though some people feel that their own has finished forming. Because they are, they are hairs, like they cannot leave you to grow more than the, that, 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 that of Methuselah. They now feel, ah, our new generation, I thank God for your life, so. Your, <laughs> your hairs can now grow and reach the roof. Now our roofs are getting taller because of you. Well, it's, it's well. I thank God it is well. So let this child decide to come out. If you decide to come out, meet your parents first. They are the people that are in the best position to help you out. Because even the school authority you are meeting, you don't know who is involved. This one, the class teacher, introduced the boy to the court. Do you understand? You don't know whether they, they had mis mistress. Is the assistant set up. You don't know whether your, your, the other person is, is the referee keeping the ball rolling. <laughs> so the, the child should first of all meet the parents, decide to come out, and follow every instruction they give to him. And I'm telling you, he will surely come out. Wow. So Kwame, I'm sure you, <laughs> you've heard this one. Our contractor has handled the whole <laughs> issue. So I believe everything is going to be okay from now on. You decide within you to stop, and then you stop, and everything is going to be okay. The other means of coming out of poverty, the other means of coming out of poverty. So it's been amazing here. My guest, Auntie Maria, you are very amazing. And my audience, thank you very much. It's been, it's been wonderful. So um, also, so we've come to the end of today's segment. And yeah, we'll be here again with more next week, same time. See you. Nice one.